Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today I'm going to take you through the final battle. Um, re it really depends on what stage you are right now. But usually the 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 suggested uh, what they call this the suggested deployment or formations actually carry over to whatever stage you're gonna be going to next. So we'll start first with uh, Tyr or Tyre or I'm not sure what his name is pronounced. So Tyre is the dragon. He is actually, again, if most of you are familiar, he is going to be a single um, single boss. So let's take a look at uh, how are we going to deploy this team. So again, um, to clear to clear this stage, you're going to get these rewards. Uh, these are just common rewards if you don't clear the stage. Okay, let's move on to formation. Okay, so I've been using this formation ever since. Um, I've, you know, I'm, I'm used to it already and found that this is very optimal. Tire or tear is going to attack this guy, the middle one. So whatever um, heroes or figures you put in the middle, he's going to attack because it's going to damage through the middle and through the back. So I would advise that you only put one here. Uh, so that he, he can do sustained damage to this um, to this middle guy, preferably somebody whose defense is high, somebody who's, who's survivable um, that you could rely on and to be alive. Because while he is absorbing all of the damage, the rest will be do dealing damage. So you have here your um, damage dealer. Preferably you w you already have um, you already have uh, this girl. So, <laughs> preferably you have Zarola already. Um, I'm not sure who you're going to, who you can substitute. The other one um, that I can think of is going to be um, uh, Vazerwin. Because Vazerwin, if you can see her, um, she has um, she has boosted, boosted damage if it's going to only be one what do you call this one uh enemy left so it's going to be all uh, only one enemy so she can be a replacement um what else um if you have um if you have re leveled up she can also be a replacement in that position so let's uh, bring back zarola then you have preferably you have two healers i'm going to be using zephyr here and shared health is going to be given by erixia so one other suggestion that i can give is if you want to bring extra shields aoi can be a substitute for erixia but preferably you should have erixia by this time and use her in this stage the other one, which is your melee attacker here in the front. Um, the other options that I brought here were either Yuna. You can also bring Vazerwin here. And any heavy hitter for melee will do as long as he deals a big damage. So let's take a look at this stage and how more or less this battle progresses. So I'm going to put this. It's already on speed 2. So as you can see, um, shared health is activated, life steal is activated. Um, your melee up front will be dealing damage, while uh, Crossus will be absorbing a lot of damage while being healed. He also has, you know, a lot of survivability. While Vaz, while Zarola actually, the ultimate for for tier is going to be. <laughs> is going to be excruciating because it deals a lot of damage going back to zarola um you can actually um really make her deal a lot of damage um by building her kit towards ultimate her gear should be ultimate it should, should be centered around around her ultimate so that she can deal bigger damage so we're at seven right now times seven times six so so far so good we've survived the initial blow of the dragon down that's the number two so as you can see as long as you keep on healing um a lot of times you're gonna survive this um and also um who's that girl zephyr is going to give um your guys energy to cycle through in terms of using ultimates that is why she's there as well so Zarola is going to lower her at uh, she's down to times three tier. So 
as you can see, they're all surviving except for this part that they're dead. But hopefully, a uh, no. So again, as you hit this, you know, at as you hit this portion wherein you cannot clear um, this stage, you just have to level up your heroes. But this formation is actually staple enough that I can recommend that you can use it, um, provided that you can mix and match with the other heroes in this formation. So, I'm gonna click yes, clear the rewards. So, I got a lot of rewards. Then, let's move on to Code V. Code V um, will we'll be dealing with a mass of uh, minions here with. I think two bosses within within the bunch. Um, you'll only be using five here, so hopefully we can survive this. So let's move forward to the formation. Okay. By by the way, these are your rewards for clearing and common rewards as well. If you don't clear this stage. Okay. So what I have done, as you can see, you can actually you can only deploy at most uh, five. So for this formation, the ones that you need to take note is the boss at the back and the boss at the front. Preferably if you could take them out first, the better. This formation is my basic formation, taking out a, um, a, you know, a group or a bunch of enemies. So this is nine enemies. I have uh, two a AOE damage dealers, namely Vazerwin and Zarola here. Of course, you will be needing a... Um, what he called this a healer in Zephyr. Um, you can actually substitute this with um, Erixia. Uh, preferably, it's still gonna be it's still gonna be Zephyr. Up front, I would suggest that you either put you have a a tank here that can tank from um, the middle, uh, right and left. Um, this tank over here can be substituted with your highest damage dealer who is survivable enough to take hits so that um, this guy could be taken out as early as possible. So other other options could be Yuna. Um, what else? Other options could be... I'm not recommending Alfred um, at this stage. We tried to use him before, but any melee um, figurine or defender can take this spot. So this spot is pretty much very flexible in, ter in terms of what you bring here. So let's try this out. Um, again, um, I cleared the last one. Probably not going to clear this because I'm underpowered. This is 160. I am only at 153, only 160 with zero, but I'll try this out. So I've been using this formation for you know as long as i've started the game so far it has you know work wonders in clearing um the only very hard opponent that you should uh, really clear is this guy the one in the front so um deal as much uh, damage as possible to him because even though if you take out the lot at the back he is still going to be charging in front and going to be dealing a lot of damage to your back line. So again, as you can see there, Zhao Yun cannot really hold him. Um, um, the other option would be another defender there so that you could pretty much hold what is there. So as you can see, with little life left, he is actually penetrating the back line. So as you can see... What a difference a unit uh, does. So let's click on yes. Let's do another, you know, another sample with a defender here. So let's go back to to Megan. Where's Megan? Megan. Here she is. Let's try this out. What a difference between a melee attacker and a defender make so hopefully the the, the backline can deal up a lot more damage and probably take out this guy i really hate this guy here um he breaks through my defenses so again your front line should have the highest survivability as possible so that your back line could be able to take out you know most of the the bosses especially the bosses because the bosses will carry you know the minions right inside so 
Hopefully, um, Megan can tank as much as possible. So, so far, she's doing good. So, hopefully, the, the AoE damagers at the back can wither everybody down. So, again, another shield for Megan, which uh, is not enough. So, during that time, Crucius also fell and the rest fell. But again, I'm at level, most of my guys are, are at level 153 and the opponent is already at 160. But this lineup really works and hope you guys consider this lineup that I used. So no more rewards. Let's take a look at the last one for the final battle. We have Azazel. So here are the, the clear rewards and here are the common rewards just in case you don't clear the stage. Let's go to the battle. This is actually my preset team already. Um, I'm going to explain to you guys what's going to happen for those who haven't gone to the stage yet. So a wave, I think there are five waves of uh, minions coming after you, summoned by Azazel. So this lineup, um, preferably the center, should be a tank um, that, can, uh, that can really um, spread out damage or stuns uh, front, right, and left. Um, on his left and right, uh, preferably should be melee so that they could deal damage, um, most damage. Because this team is built on defense. As you can see here, I have another healer and little, a little bit of AoE. Um, I, have a, I have Zephyr here in the middle. I have Eryxia here for shared health. Then I have AoE damage dealers at the back. So... My team is built on Tenma, um, and I'm taking advantage of all the buffs here up to here because I have five Tenma, and I have five, and I have, uh, I have a difficulty uh, pronouncing her name, so it's going to be Ir <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just killing her name. Anyway, um, so. And this team is be is also good with frost damage, particularly for this girl. For this is forget her name. This is Sani. So Sani, I've already leveled up most of her, uh, especially her passive. Her passive um, frosts the enemy for a, a long period of time. So let's take a look at this team um, and see if I could penetrate through this defense. So I'm going to do this in speed times four so that we don't, you know, miss. We won't waste time. So we're currently at wave one. So far, no problem with wave one. Wave one's the easiest. Um, my, my usual problem is going to be on wave four and five. So, so far, this is, again, this is a solid team as well that I built. I've frequently interchange some of the parts here um sani sometimes i used aoi um i've interchanged you can actually feel free you can feel free to interchange some of the parts here because again some of the heroes or some of the figures you might not have but again it's based on the concept of in the front it's going to be um a defender and two melee uh heroes who can deal damage the center will be your supports, mostly your healer, shared health. And at the back is mostly melee damage and mostly debuffs so that you can slow down your enemies moving forward. So again, I think I'm, I'm doing a decent job at this. So I'm at wave 2. So far, very good in terms of uh, holding back wave 2. So in a while, we'll be going to wave 3. So we're at wave three now. So hopefully we can still withstand this. Almost all are at 100 or 95% health. So, so far for this team, challenge again would be at wave four and five. But recently I've had, again, you really need a lot of AOE damage to really deal damage to the horde here. So as you can see, barely holding on. So killed off the upper line with the help of um, Zarola. So that line is actually extinct already. So I'm gonna go through the others. Uh, give my time 
give myself time to rest. So, already missed a figure here. So, that is going to be a bummer moving forward. And um, this is just wave three. So, I'm down to five figures here. Again, as you as as you uh, move forward again, these are level one sixty. I'm at level one fifty three. Uh, at most, I only have one level one sixty. So that is why th there is a big difference. But again, I've used this team so much, and it really held its own as long as um, the levels are at least similar or at par with what the enemy uses. So that is it. So I'm only up to wave three for this one but again the rewards are worth it okay so that is it for the final battle so hope you guys picked up on what you know what type of units i used um buffs are really important um, to take advantage of and hopefully i was able to help you guys so anyway, for those who have stuck this far, please consider subscribing. Hope you appreciated the guide that I made and hopefully it helped you again. And um, don't forget, guys, to click that bell icon because I'm usually making videos for this game on a regular basis. And also, don't forget to click that like if you found this helpful. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.